podcast. Back on. Yeah. So we're really excited to be welcoming our guest today. We have a surprise guest, and uh, what I'm excited about is that this surprise guest is going to be talking about um, Feeding America. They're doing a show tonight, Parks and Rec. Mm -hmm. We didn't say which person. There's a lot of people on Parks and Rec, so we could be talking to any of the people. Yeah, could it be Rob Lowe. Could be Rob Lowe. Many could people guess Rob Lowe. Chris Pratt. Could be Chris Pratt. It could be... Amy Poehler. Amy Poehler. Yep. Could, could be... You never know. Could be so many different people. But what's yeah. great is all of those people got together to shoot this new episode. Yep. And it's all going to benefit Feeding America. And so they donated their salaries to Feeding America, and we can all donate while the show goes on, and NBC, Subaru, and State Farm will match us up to $500,000 to Feeding America. Which is awesome. So not Which only do you awesome. get the, uh, the pleasure and the entertainment of watching a new Parks and Rec and getting to do something yes. with your afternoon, but at the same time, they're doing it for a great cause, continuing to raise money, um, which is really awesome, and we're just excited to talk to this person today and um, hear kind of how they came up with the idea, what's, what, what to expect in the show, yeah, so how we're they show us about it. the charity. Yes, we are going to watch it, and hopefully you guys will too. So, um, oh, and it's 2 o'clock on the dot. Yeah, on the dot. So people guessed, most people guessed uh, Rob Lowe, that we were going to be talking to Rob Lowe. People say, welcome back, Patrick. Oh, thank yeah. you. Thank Gosh, you, guys. Gosh, yes. Okay, there, there's, a, there's somebody trying to get on. Somebody's oh. bothering us, trying to get on with us. Oh, Rob Lowe. Rob Lowe, it's, who is it? It's trying know. to get on to talk about Parks and Rec and Feeding America. Oh, and also, and something else. <gasps> Look who it is! Ross. <laughs> oh, we got two for one. Oh my god! Oh, yes, once again. Patrick, I like your sweater. Oh, Turn this up a little bit. You look guys are looking good today. How are we? We're doing good. Doing well. Thank you. Good, good. Well, we're so glad that you're on our show today to talk about <laughs> that Parks and Rex is back for one night only and for a great cause. Yeah, that's right. Um, we're doing another episode. In fact, two, there are going to be two things happening tonight. Uh, starting at 8 o'clock, the Paley Center is doing a Paley Center retrospective on the show, on the life oh. of the show. That starts at 8, so be sure to tune in for that. Okay. And then at 8.30 starts the special. And uh, I think it goes a little, bit, a little bit long. It goes a little bit past 9. But yeah, it's, another, it's a new half an hour of Parks and Rec. We filmed it in quarantine. And of course, uh, it's all to benefit Feeding America. We're, in, we're um, you know, asking that people go check out Feeding America backslash Parks and Rec. You can donate. Uh, Feeding America is this really extraordinary food bank. Uh, yeah. It's a nationwide food bank. And obviously right now, uh, there's a lot of people who are really struggling to get food on the table. And so until we can uh, go back to normal, um, we'll be stocking those those food banks. So the people who are, you know, living paycheck to paycheck and really struggling in this moment can at least get food on their table. I saw that they they did a special seat, uh, sheet. For, so you go on there, you can do $5, $10. Yeah, five, ten dollars more. Yeah. And NBC, Subaru, and State Farm will match you up to yeah. $500,000. And all yeah. you guys donated your salary yeah. also to Feeding America. Yeah, we donated our salary, and as well, uh, the studio is not charging uh, a fee to the network, which is pretty cool. So it's all, it's all going to uh, to a really great cause, which is which is obviously it's a great thing. Mike Schur, our creator, he's just such a smart guy and a thoughtful, caring person to put this together. And it was, although like you know, the circumstances around it are really tough. It was really fun to get back together. And I'm glad that we were all motivated to get into another episode because people have talked about it. We'd ever do a reunion and everyone has always said yes. And so now we got to do one. So who, who came up with this idea? I think it's really genius to, um, you know, use this kind of film and television as a medium to bring awareness, to bring entertainment to people that are at home and then in turn to also raise money. Who came up with this idea? Well, I think the idea of bringing Parks and Rec back came from Mike Schur. He's, you know, he and Greg Daniels are the, are the um, creators, co-creators of the show. Mike has gone on to have a career. He does uh, The Good Place. And, you know, he's just an amazing, he's a Boston guy, you know, went to Harvard. And he's a really smart, thoughtful guy. And it, it was his idea. To, and he sent out an email. 
inquiring if we would be interested and it took all of maybe 30 seconds for every single castmate to respond with the resounding yes we'll do it and so he he it was his idea but then the, you know the, the when we when the script came in it was about nine or ten different writers on the front page so i think everybody was really eager to get back and we wrote a, a script not we but the the writers wrote a script and um it's hilarious and it was like it was like we stepped right back into it and there was no ring rust at all we just like got right right back right down to it so how did you do that did you have to go into like a room in your house and go and film it yourself on your iphone or what yeah basically well i mean you know the production team got together we had this great producer named morgan sackett and uh i think do you know morgan don't you patrick didn't he yeah, produce yeah, on just, a movie that you did yeah i just did a film with him and amy <laughs> Uh, for Netflix in yeah. November, December. So I, I love both of them. They're both great. Yeah, they're both they're both so great. Well, they just, you know, mobilized the troops. And before I knew it, there was like a sanitized bin in front of my house, uh, which included a camera, you know, basically an iPhone. But everyone had to shoot on the same, the same medium so they could edit it together. So everyone had the same iPhones, as well as these really, I'm actually using it right now, because in true Parks and Rec fashion, I stole a bunch of the stuff. Um, uh, it's this amazing tripod called, it's called a Joby and it's so awesome. Um, they are not sponsors of the show or anything like that. You can probably, uh, find it if you look it up, but it's a really great way. There's like a microphone and a light that's all connected. So we all had the same gear and we shot it. We, um, you know, would FaceTime on a separate phone with the directors as each of us shot our segments. So they were able to give us direction and virtually produce and direct us while we did the, while we did the scene and they would read the camera the lines off camera and stuff so it, it'll sim well you'll see um how it all comes together but it, it works pretty seamlessly so i think that a lot of people on here have been over the last weeks we've been talking about you know how people have been kind of shifting and pivoting their their work and kind of dealing with having to be at home you were obviously just filming in the midst of a uh, of a film when when all of this kind of happened you had to come right. home how have you been kind of changing your, your routine or, or um, you know, continuing to stay busy? Well, I mean, I, I was in London. We were shooting Jurassic World, Dominion, Jurassic World 3. And, uh, and, you know, I was gearing up to be gone for about a half a year. And so I had been really kind of dreading it. Um, <laughs> as much as I love being on set, that's the one, one thing that's always difficult is just the distance from Catherine, uh, from Jack, you know, my son and, and uh, it's just, a, it's a hard thing to be, you know, on location for a long time. And so we were about two weeks in and this thing hit. So I, I was really kind of already really homesick and wishing I could be home. And then the next thing you know, I was home. And so for me, I've really just been trying to find the silver lining and just get a breath of fresh air being home and understand that a month ago, I really wanted to be home. And so... Yes, it's a bummer that we're not shooting right now. We will get back to it eventually. And when that happens, I'll be happy to go back. But for me, it's just been, it's been really nice to, uh, to be home and I'm letting myself off the hook. Like if I'm not busy every day, it's not bothering me. I'm thinking to myself, like, I'm about to get really busy again. I have these seasons in my life where it's really busy. Right. And then I take a break and I decompress. And this is just, it shifted the order of that a little bit. And it, it took very little transition time to get right back into just decompressing and relaxing and, you know, still trying to stay fit and still trying to eat right and stay healthy. But uh, that's been kind of tough, um, <laughs> you know, but, uh, but, you know, it's, but, but for the most part, I'm not really busy and it's been, it's been nice, you know, I can just relax and do very little. So Chris, you know, you were talking about that the show tonight, uh, yes, going to benefit Feeding America, which is helping so many people who find themselves on the brink of poverty, unemployed, uh, worrying about their electricity, their food, and all that sort of stuff. You're also doing this all-in challenge, which yes. is also raising money. So tell us a little bit about that. And so great that you're doing both of these organizations and giving back in such a big way. Give us, oh, the, 30, give us the, the elevator pitch for it. Get everyone hyped up to want to go in. The and elevator enter, pitch. It, well, I mean, I this has got to be the, the, the is... most genius all-in challenge uh, contest that we've seen. And uh, it's making me want to even enter. So well, you got you it. Gotta... <laughs> yeah, I I, yes, I love that. <laughs> okay, so basically the elevator pitch. Have you ever heard that term, Maria? You, you, yeah. Did... 
Oh yeah, okay. I love that. I love that term. It's like if you That's were in an elevator term. with someone and That's you only had the elevator life. ride. Yeah. Luckily, we're on a very, we're in a very tall building, so I'm gonna slow the elevator pitch down to like to get a thousand floors. Um, basically, a hundred percent of the money that we're raising through this auction uh, goes directly to Feeding America, Meals on Wheels, World Central Kitchen, and no and so basically, it's a challenge. I was challenged by Justin Bieber, but Russell Wilson, I mean, if you go on the website, it's on fanatics.com uh, or you just put in allinchallenge.com and it'll direct you there. Yeah. It's, a, it's an auction that, um, site and you can buy experiences or items. You can enter a sweepstakes or you can be highest bidder on uh, any number of different things that have been uh, uh, put up by various celebrities and so, I think like to have dinner with Tom Brady went for like three quarters of a million dollars or something. But we're not interested like in going. having dinner with Tom Brady. We well, want I to know who I you am. are. But yeah. I want to know what he's doing. We don't want to. So know what I did, what I did for the All In Challenge, this is amazing. I truly think it's the best thing in there. I talked to Universal and I and essentially I'm auctioning off uh, spots in the next Jurassic World to be eaten by a dinosaur. And so if you win the contest, it's a $10 to enter, anybody can enter, then you will get cast in Jurassic World 3 as the uh, victim, the uh, unearned death by, by uh, an, a, a dinosaur. And so we've got actually two uh, auction items. One is gonna be a sweepstakes, so really anybody can join. And then the second one is an auction item. So whoever is the highest bidder gets it. So. You know, I've done the I've done things similar to this in the past, raising money with auctions using CrowdRise or I, uh, uh, you know, various various auction site charities uh, websites, and the idea has always been that when it's the highest bidder, people don't like that because they want yeah. your average person to have an opportunity to get to get the item, right. but at the end of the day, sweepstakes don't always raise as much money as the highest bidder because there might be a billionaire out there who just you know wants to buy. Well, that's you. Money. If you're watching right now, I'm talking to you. Any billionaire, you know, get your fifth wife in the movie. You know, <laughs> this is this is the greatest anniversary. Get, you know, this is what you do. Do it. <laughs> so, and right now, it's going for only thirty-seven thousand dollars to be oh in the God. movie, immortalized forever. So you can go I, on there and spend that. It's a tax write-off. Wouldn't you rather spend thirty-seven thousand dollars getting yourself eaten by a dinosaur in a film, immortalized forever? I will. Sure. Now that's really important to note that it, that the bigger auction, all you need is ten bucks. Ten bucks. So you go to the yeah for the sweepstakes, challenge. it's just a, it's just a lotto. So ten bucks gets you, and ten you can enter as many times you want. And then if you're the other guy that he talked about with the wife and stuff, you can go with the or husbands. We don't know. There's, we don't know. We, we got a lot of boss billionaire ladies out there too. Come on, get yourself in the movie. Yeah, that's right. Thank you, boss billionaire women. If you're out there and you want to be eaten by a dinosaur that's always been on your to-do list or your bucket list. Uh, you it's, know. it's been on mine. I've had you know, dreams like, of it, yeah. Yes, well, I, <laughs> yeah, I hadn't sense. thought about that, but maybe I'm always looking for a first. So at my age, that's good. So maybe I'll join one of those. There you go. I'm what definitely if you're, gonna bid on it. What if you're scared of dinosaurs and you mess up? Is that okay or is it gonna get cut? No. It won't, you can't get cut. You can't get cut. No, guaranteed to be in the movie, you won't part, get cut. Guys. No matter what, I, I put that in there. I stipulated, the I stipulated that because I was like, you know, because there, you know, you, you, this is something you're going to be in the movie. You're going to be in the movie forever. That's pretty cool. That is really cool. So, Park. so tonight we can support Feeding America by watching yes. Parks and Rec. That's yes. really important. So just tuning in, just tuning show. in is 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 support enough. But you can also go above and beyond and and donate if you if you uh, feel so inclined. Okay, we're going to do that. We're going to not only tune in, but we're going to donate to Feeding America. We're going to join that sweepstakes. We're going to talk with Chris at 2. We're going to watch Chris tonight at 8.30. 8 o'clock for the Paley retrospective, 8.30 for the show. Oh, my, oh my God. God. We're going to watch the Chris whole tonight. night tonight. Then yes. we're going to enter Chris's sweepstake. Yeah. Then I can't afford the bid, but maybe you will do that. I'm a boss lady. So, and yeah. so there's a, a lot of stuff. You're raising a lot of money for charity. You're, you're raising a lot of awareness. You're doing everything that you can while being at home, which is really um, awesome to see and something that I look up to um, about you. And um, I think that it's really great that you're doing all of this. And... Um, 
I think, Chris, and one thing I, I thought you could talk a minute about is before sure. we leave is that you grew up kind of living on the brink. You grew up in a small town uh, in tough circumstances. And so many people don't have a sense of what that is like. What do you think is the biggest misconception uh, of people that are, you know, working hard and yet also find themselves in a situation where they have to go to the food bank? Well, you, listen, it's a great question. And I, and, and I've, I feel as though I've, I'm in this lucky position to have really come from, uh, uh, you know, look, we, we were, we're always privileged. I mean, we were Americans. And in my, in my opinion, that puts you at a great advantage. Uh, you know, we were a paycheck to paycheck family. If, if stuff, we got hit with pretty hard medical stuff and lost our house. I mean, like, I understand what that's like. Yeah. And there's this sentiment going out there and it's coming from a lot of celebrities like, hey, we're all in this together. We're all in the same boat. And it's like, no, you're not. You're not in the same boat. You have yeah. a dope boat. You have like a big old <laughs> boat. And some people don't. Some people, you know, yeah. you get paid paycheck to paycheck. That's the life, you know? Like I remember growing up, you look at, and I'm so fortunate, I, I understand how blessed I am, but I remember looking at a menu at a restaurant I would never look at the food and then see and then go over to see how much it costs. I would look at the cost. I would pick the lowest one, and that's what you would order. You know what I mean? Like you didn't know. order anything large. You just and you almost never went out to eat. Like we we showed there was a lot of love and a lot of laughter. And it doesn't matter who you were. We were talking about this the other night, Maria. It doesn't matter who you are. There is struggle in every person's life, and I think um, you know. I understand the sentiment of how it's kind of annoying to hear celebrities talk about how we're all in this together. Yeah. And so there's no shame in, in needing a little help, especially a moment like this, yeah. because listen, there's a lot of people who are able-bodied, not sick, who could go out and work tomorrow, mm -hmm. but then they'd be putting our, our elderly at risk. They'd be putting people at risk. And so you don't do that. And instead you, you know, you do the right thing, which is you stay home. And if that means that you're not getting paid and you need a little bit of help, then I'm glad to be part of the system that will help folks do the right thing here. You know, there's a lot of people who could go out and start working tomorrow and they're even a little frustrated that they don't get to. Yeah. And I, and I understand that. I understand that. Cause when you're struggling, you know, you, you want to pay, if your kid is hungry, you want, you want to go out and feed them. Even if it means you could get sick, even if it means you could get someone else sick, I get it. I think that's such an important point because we see all of these protests or we see a lot of people going out and saying, you know, I want to, uh, I want the economy to reopen. I want to go back to work. And then we see other people saying they should stay home. And so often, as you're saying, people are in different boats, right? I love yeah. that thing where you're saying you have a dope boat. And someone else doesn't <laughs> really have uh, a dope boat. And so there are millions and millions of people who are living paycheck to paycheck before yeah. this. And those numbers have increased. And we don't know their stories. And so the truth is we're not in the same boat. We're having a collective experience, but it's very individual. Yeah, you're right. We're in, but we are in the same ocean, yeah. You know, and it's really rough right now, and so yeah. so we got to help. We got to help out where we can, and and you got to try to laugh and try to have f have fun, and also just try to understand where other people are coming from. You know, it's like we're so divided right now. We see you see some people protesting on the steps of uh, whatever in, in in at their state capital, and we're like, what are you? What are these jerks doing? And then you and it's like, dude, they're they're struggling, man, is what they're doing. And they're trying to voice that right now. And thank God we live in a country where you can voice that. And, uh, it just, you know, you, you just want to try to understand and empathize with everybody out there because it's, it's hard. So if you got to go wait in the uh, – I, I live next door to Ebenezer Lutheran Church, and there was a food bank there. And I'm not too proud to say that there was moments where we might have needed stuff from that food bank or where that, the milk that we – drank wasn't milk but it was like a, some powder that you mix with tap water to make it look like milk <laughs> you know like yeah. but we got we got by it you know what i mean that's what yeah. if you got a roof over your head and you got some food in your stomach you're gonna be okay and, and so that's that's what this is about and that's why it's so great what you're doing so once again we want to remind people at eight o'clock there's a uh the paley show honoring parks and rec eight yeah. thirty you can watch Parks and Rec, all of the proceeds from Parks and Rec tonight go into Feeding America and yeah. Feeding America will be, uh, you can donate as the show goes on tonight and they will match it up to $500,000 and the right. all in challenge. Um, when does that expire? When, how long do people have to donate towards that? Or end? Uh, I think we, uh, well, both uh, uh, for, the, for, for the all in challenge, 
it's two weeks from yesterday. And okay. then for this, this is uh, for the Parks and Rec, Feeding America backslash Parks and Rec is uh, open through May 21st, I believe. So oh, you, you can continue awesome. to go there. It'll be fun to tune in and watch tonight is like, you know, hopefully the money gets raised. We all have said it. We want to raise a million bucks. We want to match that 500,000. So we're hoping by the end of the night that we've raised a million bucks. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll do our parts. We'll do our part. Definitely. Nice. Yeah. We're not going to put a million dollars, but we're definitely going to no, watch it. We're going to donate. Yeah, yeah for sure. sure. You well, guys, Chris, this is, I really love what you're doing. This is really fun. And, and being right here right now, it's just uncanny. You guys are both so, so beautiful. Like you're just such a beautiful family. I'm so lucky to have married into such a gorgeous yeah. family. You're going to have another beautiful Uh-oh. You froze. Called in the say say anyway, that again. Say that again. Uh-oh. You froze. Come again. What'd you say? You're going to have another beautiful member. Are you, are we frozen? No, no, you're back. Okay. You're back. Okay. Yes, we, we are. Another one. together today i'm sorry maria you we, we uh you, you froze one more time say it again i said thank you for joining us we know you have somewhere else to go so we thank you for joining oh yeah us. yeah Remember, oh, my you, pleasure. Said, you said you had somewhere to go so go ahead and thank you and we'll talk okay. all about you when you get off ah great i love you guys great love job i uh, love the show and we'll see you soon okay right, bye. You. <laughs> bye 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 so that was great. That was great. That was great. Uh, I think it's still, is are it, we frozen? Is, he, is he frozen? I'm not sure who's frozen here. Okay. Well, anyway, I don't think we're frozen. No? No. Okay. So let's recap that. Yes. Parks and Rec tonight. Well, the first part is at 8. Yep. And then it's at 8.30. You can watch the actual show. And during the show, they will be asking for donations to Feeding America and they will be actually matching up to $500,000 of donations. And at the same time, he donated his time. They donated their all of them uh, did. paychecks. Yeah, all of them did. So um, I don't know, it just said some message there, but maybe he's still on, I have no idea. Um, but anyways, it's, it's really awesome to see what they're doing and yeah. to bring great content, fun content, entertaining stuff to people, mm -hmm. continuing to raise money, raise awareness. And then at the same time, he has this all-in challenge yeah. where you get to enter just $10. You get to enter in a sweepstake that's all for Feeding America again. And if you win it, you get to get eaten by a dinosaur in Jurassic World Dominion, I think it's called. So, um, yeah, that that's sounds cool. fun. That sounds really cool. <laughs> yeah, sounds so, awesome. We're going to go join that sweepstake. Big sweep pterodactyl case. coming down and just yeah. swooping you up. I love what he said, though, uh, about uh, the way he grew up and about, um, you know, pe some people have more dope boats than others, but we're all in the same ocean. Yeah. And um, that's very true. And so we can all do our part. And I loved what he said also about we don't know everybody's story. And, uh, you know, the less judgmental, the more compassionate we are towards one another, the better we will all be. Um, as a country and as, uh, as humanity, really. The better we will all be, the more we understand each other. So that was really nice that he joined us on Home Together. Yeah, it was great to have him on. That was a hard booking. That was a hard booking. It took yeah. us a few weeks, but it yeah. happened at the perfect time. Yeah, he just perfect came day. Wow, um, we're really grateful to Chris Pratt, Pratt, Pratt. Isn't his thing called like the real Pratt? Or Pratt, 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 Pratt. Yeah, Pratt, Pratt, Pratt. 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 He has a lot of Fans, fans, fans. <laughs> that if you joined us for the very first time, I'm Maria Shriver. And I'm Patrick Schwarzenegger. Thank you so much for watching us. We do these each and every day. We try to highlight um, certain individuals like Chris today um, that are utilizing their platform, taking advantage of this moment in time to help other people, to give back, to find ways to um, bring optimism, raise money, raise awareness. So uh, we thank you guys so much for watching us today. And uh, hopefully you continue to join us. And um, yeah. Don't forget to watch tonight. Don't forget Parks to watch. Back. Bye. Have a great day. See ya. Bye-bye.